this is Wolfman from the Wolf's Den, and welcome to the Wolf's Den Halloween Special Part 2. What y'all just seen was Episode 1 of Made to Come on YouTube and on VillageRadio.com. What you just heard at the end of this one was a, one of many EVPs. See what you think it says. really cold. Could you make a more broader sound? Amplify your presence. This is Vinny we're talking to. Please make a huge pre uh, huge noise letting us know you're here. What are you feeling, Chris? I feel like I'm going to pass out right now. sweaty at the moment. I'm feeling a bit that way myself. Are you okay? Are you crying? No. No, I'm just really light -headed. I feel like I'm going to pass out. Do you want we to need to stop? Yeah. We're going to take a break and we're come back to this. Special two. We had to take a slight break because uh, Michigan Chris had a very uh, I don't know what was you feeling. You were you were really sweating. You were yeah. I felt like I was there. gonna pass out. It felt like somebody had me by the back of my head. It's not very cool. And uh, Jason Sullivan here. I asked him if he had felt anything. And um, when I brought up the name of Vinnie Morella, he said he felt the reaction out of it. Was that? Is that true? Correct. And uh, I think Shuby felt something too, right? Yeah. What was? Uh, what were your feelings? What were you? What? What, what did you feel when that uh, was brought up? Something felt like. Uh, I, I don't even know if this qualifies as a reaction, but it felt like there was a shift in direction, right? Right as you had said that name. Okay. What do you mean, like shift? I don't know. I. I, I feel like someone like what the hell? I, I wouldn't Sorry. even say it was it was physical. It was, it was more like some kind of energy shift, like it just like like our like energy just drifted off into some into some other area. It's not like something else came here. It felt like we went somewhere else. All right. So with the track record of Mr. Vinnie Morella from last year, obviously still being in the building and whatnot. Obviously, we made peace as you heard last year on last year's episode. Um. I'm going to draw them out a little bit further to see if I can get more of a reaction out of them, with all respect, of course. Um, and with anything spontaneous, we're just going to go with it and see where it goes. So I'm going to give it a shot. I'm calling out the spirit of Mr. Vinny Morella. Mr. Morella, with all respect, you and I have had a run-in, I guess, once or twice last year and continuously over the last year. Obviously, you still reside in this area. Could you please give us a sign that, you, that you're that you here? A loud bang, if, will, if you will. If you could tell us your name. I do understand that with our history that I do resemble someone who had something to do with your demise and I apologize for that. 
But um, if you have something you want to say, now is your time. We're giving you the opportunity. Either way, either by communication through EVP or through me if you want. Please, if you will, um, give us a sign you're here. Back of my neck is cold again. Come through me if you want. I'm, I'm inviting you in. Oh, it's getting really cold now. Vinny, come inside me. Don't go inside anybody else. Inside me. Vinny, if you're present, can you give us two knocks? Vinny Morella. Could you please knock twice to let us know you're here? I'm sensing something. It's like over by Chris. Mm -hmm. It's like between the two Chris's over there. Can I ask you one question? And could you please speak up nice and loud for the recorders if you have to? Were you the person I seen on Thursday night in the hallway here? Mm. You okay? Yeah, I just got smacked in the head. <laughs> 